Hey everybody. Hey, we're at it again. This is uh, July 26th and we're doing a bottling uh, here at our custom crush facility. And I'll give you an idea of kind of how things run here. Lots of um, detail, attention to detail, running the bottling line, um, getting the wine ready, um, getting the wine filtered and sterile so it doesn't have, you know, thirstery fer fermentation in the bottle. Um, so it's always safe and preserved to you. Um, so a lot of details going on. Um, from getting supplies of empty glass, um, which I picked up yesterday, uh, supplies from our label supplier, cork supplier, capsule supplier, et cetera, et cetera. And not all capsules are the same, not all corks are the same, not all glass is the same, um, not all labels, labels are the same. So um, I'll show you kind of what we're doing. Windeck over here, he's been doing this for years, so this is what he's doing, he's taking the empty glass and putting it on the assembly line. So empty box to go over there. Now the empty bottles go right through here. So now the bottles will go through um, the uh, filling line. The filling line will do a quick uh, burst of argon gas, um, and then um, it'll go fill up. The wine will fill up, and then it'll go through the corker, which that's next. I'll show you. Empty bottle here. Starting, there's the argon. Goes in the filler. It's all filling right now. Comes around here. It comes out here. Goes to the corker. Getting it ready. Pushing the cork right into the bottle. Comes along over here. So the next, the next step is uh, the capsule. Now I use um, tin capsules. Um, some places use non-tin or plastic or aluminum. Um, high quality wine producers and wineries will use tin. It's a better product. Um, you know, it's hard to take off usually, unless you have a sharp knife, but um, it's a better product. So this is, what it, this is what it looks like. These are the trays. And I get it from uh, Ramen in USA, which is a Spanish company. And they're just right down the street from us. And really, the, for me, I've always felt that they're the best, the highest quality of product uh, for capsules. So um, going through here, wine's in the bottle, pork is already here. Right, right there, getting ready, and the capsules are right there. As you can see, right there, started right there, coming down, placing right there, comes down, goes right on the bottle, gets tapped. Now this is a spinner, so the spinner makes sure the capsules, obviously they're loose, but make sure they're nice and tight. So you're going to see here in a second. And a lot of adjustments going on here. So it goes in here, it goes up, you lift it up into the spinner, comes along here, and it's perfect, it's perfect, ready to go into. Now this section here is where they do the labels. See the label roll in the back? Labels right here, gets applied on the bottle. Goes along here for quality control. And Jessie does all the quality control here. She'll pull any bottles that don't look good, labels, capsules, what have you. If it doesn't look good, she's gonna pull it. Um, but right now, um, she's, they all look good, so they're going right into the case. Next down, so um, everything is right side up when we're done. And uh, then those guys get stacked here on the pallet. So let me take you over on this side real quick on the labeler. So these are some that aren't perfect. See how that's not perfect? You know, there's a few of these that are not perfect and we're not gonna, <laughs> you know, we're gonna redo them. So uh, that'll be redone at the end of the line when this, is, when this part is done. And these are the last ones left. We're gonna go redo these. So, um, and that one's missing, the capsule. 
And anything that has seconds, anything that we feel are seconds, we'll use them in the tasting room. We won't ship them to any customers. We'll use them right in the tasting room. And usually it's a very small quantity. It could be a couple cases, maybe. Um, typically we try to keep it down to like only one case or just a few bottles. But here's the labeler. So going in from the spinner, right? Coming along here with a capsule, right through here. And it goes, I guess, applied. And then to the QA table, spinning around. And then Jesse will grab them, load them in the case. There's a lot of adjustment that happens here. Um, it takes about, you know, they we bottle, or not we, but the bottling line gets bottled daily. So there's uh, other clients that, uh, from this facility that bottles on a daily basis. And so what happens is that, you know, you have different glass molds, you have different types of corks, you have, you have a lot of adjustment. And so you need to have a fantastic uh, bottle, bottling line operator. And Windeck is really the best I've seen so far. And um, he comes in about an hour before we start. He tweaks everything, he gets the glass, he gets the right wheel for the glass mold, makes a big difference, I'll show you that. So here's the wheel. So this is the wheel here. And what that does is the wheel, the wheel, he adjusts it, Windeck adjusts based on the bottle. And these are tapered, tapered bottles, so high in the shoulder, a little bit skinnier at the waist. Um, as you can see, maybe you can see here, I'll show you a bottle. Kind of like, you can't really tell. You can. A finished product you can tell anyway so um, this wheel he has to get the right wheel measurements for the, the width of the bottle and so that's where all the adjustments are and they have you know different names or different numbers on these wheels and so that's how you adjust it so it's nice nice and tightly fit so it goes through so it's not wobbly we had our muscat we did last year was a skinny bottle, it was a 375 skinny bottle. And so that took about an hour just to adjust. And we actually had to do a little MacGyver. We had to put in some duct tape and, and a cardboard to make those, those little wheels um, fit that bottle. Anyway, so it takes a good amount of time to adjust this. And then from that, you know, you're adjusting the volume of, of uh, wine in the bottle. And, um, and then you're also adjusting the cork, make sure the cork doesn't go. Some corks are longer than others, so you have to adjust how the cork gets punched down. Um, and then you also have the different capsules, you know, and, the, and some capsule, you know, and they all get spun differently, but um, you have to adjust that too. And if there's a little crease in there, you have to adjust that. Why is there a crease? You know, uh, again, not only the cork sometimes are longer, but also the capsules are longer. So all those adjustments. And then you have to get into the label machine and you have to adjust it. Some wineries like their labels that are on the bottom of the bottle. Some like it near the shoulder. Um, I like it right in the middle. So that has to be um, adjusted as well. And that gets adjusted. And then all this gets adjusted in the beginning. And we might go through, you know, four or five or six labels on the bottles um, until we get it right where we want it. Um, Anyway, a lot, a lot goes into it. Um, you know, it's, it's a lot of care, a lot of attention. Um, but as you can see now, everything's, everything's going great. Um, going through the line, you know, really nice. We'll get the uh, Road to Morocco is about 150 cases, like I said earlier. And um, we'll get that done. Uh, that'll probably be done here in about an hour, an hour and a half max. That will be done. And next will be the Cabernet Sauvignon. So. Anyways, I wanted to kind of give you a more in-depth um, look into our bottling line and kind of like what entails, what goes into it. Um, and this line is actually a slower pace line. They can increase it, um, but it's a really good speed right now because there's no rush. We're doing 300 cases a day. It's gonna take, you know, probably four hours to get it all done, maybe five, probably four. Um, and so there's no rush. Um, anyway, like, comment, subscribe. And um, love to show you, I'm gonna show you more of these fun facts and uh, fun things that we do here at the, uh, at our Custom Crush facility. And, um, but I wanna show you this more in depth. Peace, love, always, ciao.